And while it's no longer news that the Federal uh, High Court has ordered the CBN to unfreeze the 20 NSARS protesters' accounts, what is then the new conversation and, um, of course, uh, how the Apex Bank uh, will completely and fully apply to this uh, directive? Plus, TV Africa's correspondent, Destiny Momo, has more. In the wake of the post NSAS protest, the central bank sought an ex parte application to freeze the accounts of some of the leaders of the nationwide protest, which was granted for 90 days. But by Wednesday, 10th of February, the presiding George Ahmed Mohammed ordered that the accounts be unfrozen following the agreement by the legal teams of the CBN and the defendants to end the case. Will there be an immediate compliance to the ruling or will there be an appeal? CBN in itself is an act of parliament. It's, it's an institution that needs to operate under the, with the principle of, uh, 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 must operate with principle of social justice and, and law. But if it's joining itself in a bandwagon of political and euphoria, when politicians want to take charge of situation, is be, they don't operate on institutionalized level, they operate on self and individualistic selfish interest. Access Bank, in which eight of the accounts are domiciled, had issued a public apology after some Nigerians started a social media trend calling on customers to close their accounts with the bank for allegedly colluding with the government to oppress the protesters. The important point is that all court orders are binding. Some analysts argue that they must be complied with by the parties in a case. Could the court order be precise or not? It's, a, it's another case in its entirety because we've, we've known uh, in the recent time this is a government that chooses which court order to obey. And uh, court orders are now mere, mere figment of imagination of those court rulings or the judges that are bringing up. And um, to me, I'm partially um, afraid that um, beyond the unfreezing itself, are we free? If that is the case, it's not just unfreezing an, an account that tells us that we are free. It's, it's a locals classical. The 20 account holders affected by the freezing order had participated in or contributed to the end SARS protests, which were triggered by grievances arising from years of harassment and rights violations by operatives of the defunct Special Anti-Robbery Squad, SARS. The protest led to the disbandment of Police Tactical Squad in October last year. Destiny Momo for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.